And I, uh, what a day that ended up being. Not what I expected. So I guess we'll start at the beginning. The new Observer came out, and there was a blurb about the Jungle Boy. And uh, here's what it said. I'll just read the, the part here at the end. Regarding Jack Perry, who's never been gone for seven months since the incident with CM Punk at Wembley, people thinking he's been fired. He is still under contract. Obviously, he's working only for New Japan. He then says that Tony's never answered any questions regarding him. The way we heard it, Dave said, is that he was sent home after Wembley, never heard back from Khan. He apologized, kept texting him about how he never meant to cause any trouble and was sorry. He did hear from the company through lawyers. Then they talked, and he apologized to Khan, but he still has not been brought back. What they're doing now in Japan is storyline to lead to an eventual return. So that was what was in the Observer. And early in the morning, turns out that Jack Perry was not happy with that report. And a lot of stuff happened. And I ended up writing a story for the front page to try to clear up what he was unhappy about. Because he didn't say the entire thing was untrue. Like, later in the day, it was like, oh, you know, Dave reported one thing and Brian reported the exact opposite. Uh, but the uh, website is... Cru there was one thing that Jungle Boy Jack Perry greatly disputed, and that was that he apologized, kept texting, said he never meant to cause any trouble, was sorry, and later apologized to Tony Khan. He was very upset about that because he insists that that never happened. And he did not like that characterization that he was repeatedly texting, saying he was sorry, asking for forgiveness, etc. So this is the story that I wrote. And I want everyone to know, I rewrote this story like six times because I wanted this to be so simple I used short sentences. I used small words. I was like, could I make this any easier to understand? And there's not even a lot of words. Sonny O'Mara would have been fine with this report. And he did not like too many words. Jack Perry both disputes the claim that he continually apologized or asked forgiveness in the months following his backstage fight with CM Punk at last August AW All In or that there are any current plans for an AEW return. According to Perry, he did not hear from AEW head Tony Khan for two months following All In at London's Wembley Stadium. Perry said he never texted to say he was sorry. He told Khan's lawyers he would not initiate first contact. Khan finally set up an in-person meeting before Full Gear in Los Angeles, where they discussed plans to bring him back last December. However, after CM Punk returned to WWE at Survivor Series, those plans were scrapped. Perry, who had wanted to work Wrestle Kingdom, but was unable to for logistical reasons, then worked with Rocky Romero and Khan to set up his current New Japan run. At this point, Perry is still under AEW contract. He asked for his release, but was denied. But there are still no plans to bring him back. He hasn't talked to Tony Khan in months, not cleared anything he has done in storyline for New Japan, like him tearing up the AW contract or his usage of the term scapegoat. That was the entire story, okay? I thought that was pretty easy to understand. So the first thing that came out was, I would say that actually probably about half the people that, that read it and responded, you know, they understood what his issue was and they understood what the story was. The other half... I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know what it is. The one that was, like, the most insane to me was the people that said, w so now we're doing storyline articles? Now we're writing an article to further his storyline in New Japan? And I was like, how in God's name could you read that article and conclude that he was playing into a storyline... Or that I was helping to further a storyline in New Japan. If he was trying to further his storyline, then he would have said, I tore up that contract and I am no longer a part of AEW. 
if he would have been furthering a storyline, he would have made it clear that Rocky and I got together to get me into New Japan. Now, what was written, very specifically, in short sentences, was that Tony Khan and Rocky Romero set up his New Japan run. It was made very clear in this article that they spoke and they are on the same page regarding going to New Japan. Now, the other thing that I can't figure out is how people can't understand that Jack Perry, because, you know, Dave talked about how Tony was still upset about the CM Punk thing. And they're like, oh, well, you know, this disputes that. No, it doesn't dispute that. Because, and this has happened many times. This is not unusual. Jack Perry got suspended, and he didn't hear one word from Tony Khan for months. This is not unusual. The same thing happened with Kenny Omega. The same thing happened with the Young Bucks. The same thing happened with everybody that has had a disciplinary issue in AEW. Everything just goes silent. Okay? Obviously, for whatever reason, and I don't know the reason, they had decided there was going to be a return. And when CM Punk showed up at Survivor Series, Tony decided it ain't happening. Why? I don't know. And Tony's not going to explain why. It could be that he thought, you know what? Punk's showing up. If I bring back Jungle Boy right now, it looks like a retaliation shot. I just don't want to do it right now. And so that way, I don't know why, okay? But that's possible. So I don't understand how people can't figure out that Jack can be upset and bitter about what happened post-Wembley. Tony Khan can be upset about what happened with Jack Perry and CM Punk. But despite these feelings, they can still work together. And the irony, which is just it's amazing to me, is when what happened with CM Punk and the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega happened, and the Young Bucks wanted nothing to do with CM Punk, what did everybody say? Why can't they just put their differences aside and work together for business? Well... Here we are in literally the exact same situation. There was something involving CM Punk, and Jack Perry and Tony Khan are upset with each other about what happened. They're upset about the circumstances, but they are willing to work together for business. Why is all of a sudden that, oh, he must be furthering an angle? They're, they're actually doing what everybody begged CM Punk and the Young Bucks to do, but now it's like, oh, that can't possibly happen. They can't possibly have this situation worked out where Jack goes to New Japan, he does some angles or whatever. Uh, you know, they, they either have to be in love with each other, or if they don't like each other, they can't po No. There can be hard feelings, but both sides are willing to work together, and that's where we are right now. So, if there's any other questions I could answer, I'd be happy to. But literally nothing I wrote isn't something that hasn't happened before in AEW. I mean, everything is exactly... It is a glimpse into how things work in disciplinary situations in AEW. There are no plans for him to return right now. I never said he wasn't ever going to return. I figure at some point he's gonna, but there are no plans right now. And he's doing what he's doing with, AEW, with, with New Japan. They're doing what they're doing without him. I'm sure some point he'll come back, but that's where everything is right now. Have any questions? What did I miss? I don't. I think you covered everything there. Just flabbergasted. Why? The threat on our board was like astonishing. There are still people trying to figure out if the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes hate each other. No, the Young so. Bucks and Cody Rhodes are friends with each other. I know, but and hey, do you think no. that you know you think hey. with Cody and the Bucks friends with each other that CM Punk is like Cody's favorite person? No, but he's going to work with the guy. He'll work with him. This happens all the time in wrestling. But apparently in this situation, it's got to be a work. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of any show on his back, Jack, for all of these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short Granny, surgery. Granny laughed. Removal of cyst near his left testicle. 
Oh my gosh. I think what? it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out the John Holmes extension. <laughs> the adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says oh. gag reflex removal. <laughs> That's mean. He put a pork chop in his rectum. I think that you've been suffering from sore assesis. Seven days you've been saving that <laughs> yeah. one. The fact is, I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragon ass. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today, and don't miss out.